President Biden has talked about increasing domestic manufacturing as a way to fight inflation, but there's a debate over whether that would actually work. Join us right now is Heather Boucher. She is a member of the President's Council of Economic Advisors. Good morning to you. The big question is, is what, what can the actual government, not the Fed, do to fight inflation at this point in the ballgame? Well, certainly, this is an issue that the president has been very concerned about, and there's been a number of steps that he's taken and continues to take to focus on you know, making sure that we keep costs down for families. So, for example, last week, um, President Biden talked about making sure that people who are eligible for subsidies under the Affordable Care Act actually got them and doing the, everything um, he could to make sure that government served families in that way. That's just one example. But, you know, other examples include the recent announcement of the release of a million barrels per day from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to help keep gas prices down, working with our allies. So those are just some of the examples of all the ways that the president is focused on lowering costs for families in the short run, while also, as you mentioned, making sure that we are making the investments we need to make to have a more productive economy moving forward. Those investments in manufacturing, um, the calls in the budget for investments in our nation's ports, in housing supply, and in, you know, across our economy, making sure that we're focused on uh, making America more competitive. How concerned are you that as the Fed increases rates, which I think we all agree they need to do, that it is going to cost us as taxpayers even more to service our debt? Well, here's the thing. Um, you know, first off, we are in a strong economic position um, in, a number of, in a number of ways. We have a low unemployment rate. It's back down to 3.6 percent, just a, a tad higher than where it was pre-pandemic. We've seen 7.9 million people get a job since the president took office, giving them that economic security and the dignity that comes from having work. And we've learned how to cope with this pandemic through vaccinations and, and all the things. We've gotten schools reopened. Um, so all of this combined has uh, made it possible for businesses to be making those investments. Startups have been going up. We see that um, families have strong balance sheets. So as we're looking at this moment when the Fed is pulling back, um, businesses and families are in a relatively strong position, and we know how to cope with the challenges in front of us. Um, we can see that, you know, even as Russia has, um, you know, had this unprovoked campaign against this war in Ukraine, and that's, uh, that le that's led to this, the challenges in energy markets, we've had tools such as releasing oil from the right. Strategic Petroleum Reserve. But so, how, on, the, on, the oil, all, on the oil price issue, I mean, we have seen the price come down. I'm not sure that's a function of the release of the, the Strategic Petroleum Review, uh, Reserve so much as what's happened geopolitically over the past two weeks, no? Well, I mean, time, we'll have to, you know, time will tell exactly, you know, what moved what, but certainly we are pulling out all the stops to make sure that Americans have access to the energy they need, which, of course, is why we need to be making these long-term investments in clean energy, which the president has prioritized from day one.